Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Pan, technical evangelist for Viv Labs. Be sure to follow me at John Without the H on Twitter. Stay up to date to whatever videos I might be making and various other news. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your Bixby capsule into the marketplace. This video is the first video in the Bixby capsule approval process series. And the first video is just going to cover how to get your Bixby capsule in the marketplace. And the next three videos are going to cover frequent rejections. Here are the three steps we will be running through in this tutorial. The first step, registering your capsule, is done at bixbydevelopers.com. Once you're logged in, just click Teams and Capsules, and then create a new team. Fill this form out, and then click Create. Now that you've created your namespace, which is right here, just click Register Capsule. Typically the prefix is some kind of a developer name or whatever, and the suffix is the capsule name, so click Submit. So now you have your namespace plus capsule name right here. Just copy and paste that into your capsule.bxb right here. Verify that your capsule is working by running uh, it in the simulator. Pikachu. Its nature is to store up electricity. Forests where nests of Pikachu live are dangerous, since the trees are so often struck by lightning. And that's how you register your capsule. The next step, I created a spreadsheet with, uh, it looks a little overwhelming right now, but we'll go through it very quickly together. The Google spreadsheet link will be in the description. I made this spreadsheet based on our capsule review process, so developers like yourself have a fairly comprehensive checklist to use when you're submitting your capsule. The highlighted rows in yellow are where capsules are very commonly rejected. I recommend either downloading this spreadsheet or making a copy of it in your Google Drive to use as a checklist uh, as we go through this video or uh, just for your own capsule when you go through this process. In the next few videos in the series, I'll be covering in more detail where capsules most commonly get rejected and how to avoid those rejections. For this video, we're just going to blitz through and make sure we fill out all of the required fields. In Bixby Studio, first let's start with capsule.bxb and you'll see here that we need to set a version number and a store section. Let's go ahead and do that. So this version number, make sure to just increment it or put some version number there. And here you can see the store section, games and fun. For now, just hit control space uh, to see the store sections or go to the documentation and select whatever store section you think is most relevant. I would start by selecting only one store section when you submit your capsule. Check off our capsule.bxb. Next, let's go to the capsule info file. So here, make sure to set these uh, things, display name. And here we have my display name, the unofficial Pokedex. We have the developer name. And we have the icon asset right here. Now the icon asset, I recommend PNG format, and it also must be in a one to one ratio, so square. And finally, a description that's relevant to your capsule. So in this case, look up your favorite Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Um, a bad description that may get you rejected is here is a capsule or here's a cool capsule. Your description needs to tell what your capsule does. The display name must not include test or beta or anything like that. Uh, just a quick check because we have failed capsules for that before. And next is the dispatch name. The dispatch name is what people say to invoke your capsule. So in this case, I set it to the unofficial Pokedex, which is the same as the display name. It's important for the dispatch name to be almost identical or identical to the display name. Make sure that your dispatch name works in the simulator. The unofficial Pokedex. Venipede. You can see how the ASR picked up the unofficial Pokedex without much of a hitch. Also make sure that your dispatch name is not too generic, must be unique, must be nearly identical to the display name, and check those off. So I will be going through a more concrete examples in the next video. Top reasons for capsule rejections, dispatch names and aliases. And here is a quick demonstration of how the capsule info code is displayed in the marketplace. When you're in your relevant store category, you'll see the title here, your developer name, and finally you'll see the icon right there and you'll see the description in here in the about section. So next, make sure that you have your three hints. So go to your hints.bxb file. You might need to create a new one if it's not already there. In here, make sure that all the hints work 
Now in the simulator, just copy and paste this section of the hint. Pikachu. Its nature is to store up or And let's also make sure that the entire utterance works with ASR. Ask the unofficial Pokedex to show me a Pikachu. Now, in the simulator itself, you can use it to test for ASR, but it will actually pass in this entire utterance. Now, don't worry when it's actually deployed live, uh, only this section will be passed into your capsule. So I will also go over hints in more detail in the third part, which is uh, how your capsule can fail because of the hints. Make sure you have at least three hints that are all working. This gives you a few examples of the variations that you can uh, use for your hints. In the store itself, you'll see that the hints are right here, displayed in your capsule page. Let's check those off. And finally, the last step is to actually submit your capsule. So the steps for that are as follows. Make a public submission in the Bixby Studio IDE, click Submit at BixbyDevelopers.com, and finally, wait for us to review it. So let's go to the IDE and make a public submission. Click on this uh, cloud icon, create new submission, make sure it is a public submission, and click this. Now you can just uh, type in a quick note for yourself and then click Submit. Once it's done processing, you can click on it and see that you have some kind of ID. So now go to your capsule page. So from your teams, you can just uh, make sure you have the correct team selected and click on your Pokedex capsule, or well, my Pokedex in this case, and click refresh. Here you will see the submission you just made. Click submit for review, and you can add a note. Click on this, and then click proceed. And there you go, you've submitted your first capsule. It usually takes us a couple days to review your capsule, at which point you'll be notified via email whether your capsule was approved or rejected. In the next video, I will be covering top reasons for capsule rejections, the dispatch names and aliases. In the video after that, I'll be covering top reasons for rejections, hints and testing ASR, and finally, the top reasons for capsule rejections, UI, UX. Thank you very much for watching.